Flight attendants reveal secrets of flying and what it's really like working for an airline. Flight attendants might seem to have a glamorous job, but there is more to the job than you might think. Yes, they get to travel for free and see every corner of the world, but they also have to undergo difficult training and deal with some seriously horrible passengers. There are plenty of secrets that your flight attendants are hiding from you behind that charming smile. Read on to learn what's going on behind the scenes while you're busy watching an in-flight movie. Have you ever noticed that flight attendants always seem to greet passengers with their hands clasped behind their backs? Turns out that there's a good reason airline employees do this. Hiding their hands makes it easier to conduct a head count as people enter the plane. They're keeping count on their fingers. If you saw them counting on their fingers in front of you, you probably wouldn't think too highly of them. The trust between the attendant and passenger must never be broken. When it comes to long-haul flights, you might get to take several snoozers, but what about the flight crew? They constantly have to be around to tend to passenger needs and are always on their feet, but that seems like a lot for a flight that's over 10 hours. Don't worry, flight attendants get to take their breaks too. Big planes like Boeing 777 or 787 jets have secret sleeping cabins built in for staff. These windowless sleeping quarters are built above or below the gully. So that's probably where your favorite flight attendant is if you've noticed you haven't seen them for a while. Everyone understands how uncomfortable it is to be stuck on a plane for more than two hours. A lot of times you'll see that passenger who takes their shoes off and they'll even walk around the cabin without putting them back on. It may seem like they're just making themselves comfortable, but it's actually pretty disgusting. Flight attendants know just how filthy the floor of the plane really is. Plenty of accidents occur in flight. While those accidents do get cleaned up, it's still not as sanitary as you'd hope, especially in between flights. Plus, cleaning supplies are limited on airplanes. The flight crew uses subtle codes to communicate with each other about the goings-on in the plane without letting the passengers know. There might be things they need to tell each other to look out for, but they don't want to freak out the passengers. Those bells and chimes you often hear during a flight aren't for no reason. For example, those dings you hear at the beginning and end of a flight. That's to signal to the crew that the most dangerous stages of the flight are over since takeoff and landing are the most precarious parts of flying. It's always reassuring to see your flight attendants greeting you as you enter the aircraft. Sure, it's excellent customer service, but they actually have an ulterior motive for doing so. As the passengers enter the plane, the flight attendants quickly make important assessments. They look over each and every passenger and make mental notes of who might be problematic or intoxicated, who is traveling alone, or for those passengers who might be in need of extra assistance, such as when they're handicapped or traveling with children. They're also seeing who's strong and who might be useful in an emergency. While you should treat any human with the respect that they deserve in any situation, it pays to be exceptionally nice to your flight attendant. Many flight attendants say that they love customers who respond with a smile and a thank you and you'd be surprised to know how often that doesn't happen. If you're pretty nice to your flight attendant, you may even be able to score an upgraded seat if there were any available. It will also help if you have a legitimate reason to be upgraded, such as being too tall, pregnant, or are a frequent flyer. Flight attendants have to go to work the minute they arrive on the plane. That means doing safety checks before a flight and then greeting and assisting passengers during the boarding process. But for all they do before the plane takes off, they're not even getting paid. Flight attendants only get paid for the hours that the engine starts and the plane pulls away from the gate. Any time before that, they aren't getting paid, or they're at least not getting paid their full rate. Hours spent away from home but not in the air are compensated with a rate as low as $1.50 an hour. You might want to watch it next time you opt for booze on a flight. Not only is it illegal for flight attendants to enable passengers to get drunk on a flight, it's actually illegal to be intoxicated on a plane. Should you end up breaking that law, you can get up to a two-year sentence for this odd criminal offense. But think of it this way. You don't need to overdo it on a flight because the changing cabin pressure causes alcohol.